Hey there, fellow space explorers, gamers, and thrill seekers. Get ready to buckle up because today we're diving headfirst into the mind-blowing, pulse-pounding, universe-expanding world of Starfield. Folks, we're about to embark on a journey that's out of this world. I mean, we're talking about the best game ever, a flawed masterpiece, something that's so misunderstood it might just surprise you. Hold on to your helmets because we're about to blast off into the cosmos and discover why Starfield is the game that's got everyone talking. You won't believe the adventure that awaits us as we unravel the mysteries of this epic space odyssey. Trust me, it's going to be one wild ride, and you won't want to miss a second of it. So, grab your space snacks, set your phasers to awesome, and let's dive right into the first module of our Starfield exploration. In a world where opinions about games can be as diverse as the galaxies themselves, there's one game that, when released, defied the prevailing notions. Today, we're challenging the misconceptions and arguing why everyone was wrong about Starfield upon its release. It's time to shed light on the hidden facets of this space epic. Content, content, and even more content. When Starfield was released, it spoiled us with an overwhelming amount of things to see and do. It's not just about quantity, it's about the quality of the content as well. The release of Starfield was like opening a treasure chest with no bottom. Side quests, hidden secrets, sprawling landscapes, and engaging characters. It's all there, waiting to be discovered. Released into the gaming universe, Starfield is a testament to the idea that more doesn't always mean less. Sometimes, it means better. It's not just about the main quest line, it's about the richness of the world that surrounds it. Every nook and cranny is filled with stories, challenges, and surprises. It's the kind of game that keeps us coming back for more, long after we thought we'd seen it all. The content isn't just filler, it's what keeps us engaged, what keeps us exploring, and what keeps us immersed in this incredible universe. You know what's baffling? People just love hating things, especially when it's something as amazing as Starfield. It's like they thrive on negativity. They'll jump on any bandwagon just to trash talk a game that's so clearly a work of genius. It's a sad state of affairs when people would rather tear something down than celebrate its brilliance. It's frustrating to watch. When Starfield was released, I couldn't contain my excitement. I saw it as a beacon of hope, a game that would inspire awe and wonder in the gaming community. But as I ventured into online forums and social media, I was met with a barrage of criticism and negativity. It's as if some people derive pleasure from finding faults and tearing down the accomplishments of others. The release of Starfield was a reminder that creativity and innovation should be celebrated, not torn apart by cynicism. It's disheartening to see how easily some people succumb to the allure of negativity, but I won't let it dampen my enthusiasm for the game. Well, folks, that's a wrap on another mind-blowing exploration of Starfield. Can you believe the incredible journey we've been on today? I hope you had as much fun as I did diving into the world of the best game ever, a flawed masterpiece, or whatever incredible aspect of Starfield we've been uncovering. If you're as passionate about gaming as I am, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. That way, you'll never miss out on our next interstellar adventure together. And hey, if you've got your own thoughts, opinions, or wild theories about Starfield, don't be shy. Drop them in the comments below. I love hearing from fellow space enthusiasts like you. Until next time, space travelers, keep exploring, keep gaming, and keep reaching for the stars.